today we have uh, Liz Royball, the uh, Re Recreation Manager, is right. that right? That's correct. I got it right, all right, great, <laughs> great. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, thanks for coming, I re really appreciate sure, it. Sure, yeah, no Thanks. Problem. So, I'm a, a part, I, I go to Fort Marcy, I attend there during I, my I lunch see. hour, even though I, I started, so people are saying, that guy's a little bit too big to be saying that he goes and works out every day, but I have. I've been going back for three weeks, I've been off and on, but I want to say, uh, it's a very it's a very cool place to go and work out uh, not crowded um, and you always have something to do out there so if your machine or something that usually um, is is full or something or I mean it's being used there's always something else that you can Absolutely. try out which I think is really great so Absolutely. I just want to tell you uh, thank you very much for, well, for all the changes that you've made out there and, and it, it there's just been really good improvements so you. Um, I'm sorry, I kind of jumped in the gun of the middle of the of the meat of, of, of the topic. But no, that's good. And, and I'd like to say, Joe, thank you for participating. Oh, yeah. Even though you are a, a, city a, 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 a large oh, man yeah, yeah, with yeah. a big statue, yes, uh, yes, stature, yes, yes. doesn't mean that you're out of shape. Oh, yeah. Honestly, well, well. I heard you say you ran quite a bit well, yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. working on that. Was, you know, there can be a lot of lean people that aren't don't have that cardio capacity. No, I got so, you. So there's all you. kinds of components about being fit. Yes, but it does definitely, Fort Marcy does have the tools to get you back on track. Exactly. Which I think is really cool. Right. So. As you know, we invested about $150,000 in brand new equipment. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the same at Salvador Pettis Pool. Uh, in about a month mm -hmm. and so that really you know opens the the way for people to find anything they need to improve their strength and their cardio yes absolutely uh, so let's talk a little bit about that what 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 was the uh, there was a big changeover you guys have all brand new equipment there's some old faithfuls that are still there but you you did the whole change out of equipment as far as cardio equipment out in the front and then also weight room too as well. Uh, yes, we had to, uh, Joe, you know, that equipment had been there probably since the 80s. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of Band-Aid fixes that were actually costing us more, costing the taxpayers more money in Band-Aid uh, solutions than, than what it was worth. Say a treadmill, you know, the belts and the deck and the motherboard, it wasn't worth putting good money into that equipment. So yeah. it was time. Yeah. It really was time. Yeah, and, and you got some you got some high tech stuff there. I mean, even Absolutely. the, even the uh, do they still call them nautiluses? What would they call them? No, they're they're uh, ellipticals. Is what they're called. No, no. But I'm saying the uh, well, yeah, we can talk about those. Okay. Those are really interesting. Oh, you're I was talk talking about the weight weight equipment. Yeah. Uh, the the what are they called? The machine. It's a Cybex. The it's Cybex. It's a brand. A brand. That's a Cybex. A, yeah, yeah, it's a brand. Nautilus back in the day and Star Trek were pretty good brands. There's yeah. There's several, and of course we went out to bid, and there's there's many many good types of equipment, but we're pleased with uh, Cybex. But it seems like these, and, and these are not very difficult to learn, and once you learn them, they really do give you a good workout. So oh, absolutely. It's something, and it's they're something, safe. Yes, and they're safe. The most important. And, and, and going back to what you were saying about the whole, uh, the ellipticals and stuff, there's a really cool one out there. That, well, actually, the ellipticals now, the new ones that you have, you are actually are doing a real running motion with them. Absolutely. And it, it's like you are jogging at low impact. It doesn't put a lot of impact on your knees. Right. Um, I could, I, for example, and I'm using myself as an example because, you know, I won't complain about myself, right? At the end, why did you say that about me? I could say, well, because you're me. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I got a little bit psychological there. That's didn't okay. I? Anyway, That's good. but, um, you know, I, I had fallen off the wagon, as mm -hmm. I like to call it, mm -hmm. and, I, and I went there and, and we, uh, you know, I got on the ellipticals because I wasn't ready to run yet. I didn't have that cardio buildup, and 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 you know, my knees and stuff, right. and my feet were would, would have been a total shock. So these things were really good because it was very low impact. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, you and I were talking before we got on the show that I just went through a bilateral knee replacement. Yeah. And it was from years of running and you know, being a monkey, yeah. skiing and yeah, everything yeah, else. Yeah. But you know, the ellipticals for me right now it's very low impact. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can get a good workout. We even have one that does a side motion almost. And like I was going to mention that. That was like skiing. Yes, and your hips get a really good really movement good out workout. of it. Yeah. And you know, don't be intimidated, uh, folks, to, to come out. Yeah, you know, the definitely. machines can be intim intimidating, uh, but we have staff that's very knowledgeable. Yes. We're, we're more than happy to help you to get st jump started. And that's what it takes. You know, once you get into that, you, you, you make the, you get out of the pre-contemplation stage and mm -hmm. into the action, mm -hmm. then you start your routine and you know, it, 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 you get back with it. Yes, and, and there's no snootiness there. You, no. know, you know, when you go there, it's not like, well, look at that dude, you know, or, you know, it's, 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 it's a very uh, down to earth gym. Very which family, I, very, yes, we, you know, everybody says, good morning, Liz. I know them on a yep. first name basis. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's a really, uh, 
community, family-oriented uh, center. Yes. Yeah, we do have more of a senior population, if mm -hmm. you will, but we are trying to uh, promote some of the younger, uh, some camps for some of the younger folks. Yeah. And so we're starting to get that population back over. But it, it's nice to have that intergenerational uh, population. Absolutely. And you guys have a pool too, which is oh, really yeah. cool. You guys always have the temperature of the pool listed when you go up front on yes. a little dry erase board, which I think is cool. Right. A lot of people use the pool. And uh, you also have the, the, the uh, Fort Marcy gym for basketball and for, and there's other classes going on there. And I'll tell you. So we must have uh, 40 classes a week uh, mm -hmm. between the community room and the gym. We mm -hmm. started a noontime basketball that's coming back. Mm -hmm. We have uh, basketball leagues, volleyball leagues. Uh, there is really not a time when it's it's empty, when, no. it's, when it's idle. And uh, and, uh, the, and the pool right now I left and it was a uh, parents and tots class, which oh, is wow. really cool. And of course we have Bicentennial Outdoor Pool and we have Salvador Pettis Pool. That's right. right. So, I mean, there's three choices right there within a three mile distance. Yeah, that's right. And and, uh, and it's great because you guys take very good care of the pool. I know you guys had some work done uh, on the roof there recently, right, to make sure that everything yeah. was, was square there. But there have been a lot of great improvements there at yeah. Fort Marcy. And it's, it's uh, you know, growing up here in Santa Fe, we would go to Fort Marcy and we would mess around there and go to the gym and stuff. And I'm telling you, this place, the Fort Marcy has really kept up with the times and it's still like it was just built last year which I think is great. Well, I think what's key is, you know, you have to put money into your facilities. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we, we did a, a repair on the roof that was long overdue. Uh, I would joke around that you could literally take a shower and swim at the same time because mm -hmm. the roof was leaking so bad. Yeah. But thanks to CIP and some good facilities uh, personnel that got this, uh, you know, moving, we repaired the, the roofs. We've put new boilers at several of the pools. Mm -hmm. we're, gonna, we're working on new contract with a H, whole new HVAC system. Mm, Unfortunately, great. right now it's all one temperature. It doesn't mm -hmm. work well that way. Yeah. And then a huge project that's going to start on Monday is a front entrance redesign. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we'll, okay. uh, we'll be uh, opening up the uh, administrative offices to filter people through there and make the weight room make the floor bigger. Oh, wow. Okay, the, the great. Party. That's yeah. great to know. Yes. Yeah, I think another uh, people that, that a lot of people don't under realize that there are uh, full-size uh, racquetball courts in there too right. as well tucked away in there in the gym on the sidewall That's right. and, and and some folks might say well I don't want to go buy a racket and I don't want to go buy some balls but you can we just have go everything. you just go over there and say hey I'd like right. to check out the racquetball and absolutely the you just call make a reservation we have the eyewear the rackets the balls uh, you know we have a group of handball players that mm -hmm. are really uh, active and a, and, a, and a lot of racquetball people you know, they, you know, they're, they're, they're old, but there's, they serve the purpose. Yeah. 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 That's great. And one thing just real quick, and then we'll, we're going to get onto some programs here, but I wanted to mention that you, you were one of the last gyms, I believe that have a Roman chair and, and the Roman chair has always uh, had a place in my heart. Uh, <laughs> so I just want to let people know about okay, that as we'll, well. So we'll put your name on that one, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. So what do you got as far as programs go? I know last night you guys, well, actually last week, you started uh, the uh, Frisbee League, right? right? The Ultimate Frisbee League. So right. let's talk a little bit about that. How's that? Well, yeah, sure. You know, about three years ago, some folks came to me and said, hey, Liz, we, you know, do you think you could help us start a Ultimate Frisbee League? And, you know, of course, I'm like, sure, let's do it. You know, mm -hmm. and so in the third year, now we've got up to about 60, 65 players. Oh, wow. And uh, it's a great, it's a great activity, fast moving. Uh, it's at Fort Marcy Park mm -hmm. every Thursday from six to about eight. Okay. And you can sign up, it's $35 a person. You get a nice, really cool t-shirt, you get a disc and you get all the games. So it's come on out. So, so how's it played? Can you just kind of in it's, a nutshell it's, explain it's it? A it's a kind of like basketball or football? It's a or? combination of like razzle dazzle football. If okay. you've ever played that. It's a uh, it's a lot of passing and running. Okay. Uh, you advance the disc. If it drops, then it, it changes uh, possession. Oh wow! So okay. it's you know you've got the goals. And people are trying to block the the right. You the can't disc touch. From you can't touch. Gotcha. You can't gotcha. Push. So it's not it's not not contact except when you're going up for the disc. Anything gotcha. goes. Gotcha. Anything yeah. goes out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, it's 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 men and like women. A lot, of fun. And a lot of women are involved in it. Which that's is, great. Which is great. That's awesome. Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah, that, that's kind of cool. I didn't. That just sounds like a pretty no, it's fun a, it's sport. An up and coming. So what do you guys got uh, for uh, summertime? You got okay. some, some camps coming up? We do. You know, for, for whatever reason, you know, more of the youth have moved over to the south side. Mm -hmm. But at the Chavez Center, I mean, it's incredible. And it's a boys and girls club, you know. But we have found a niche uh, for about 
we have five camps. We take 30 to 40 kids, and they're real specialized camps. We start out with a, a girls' summer volleyball clinic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, then we have a basketball clinic, we have a sports camp, mm -hmm. and we have what Greg Fernandez, our um, s uh, program coordinator, mm -hmm. program supervisor, mm -hmm. developed a fitness camp. Okay. Which is really great because he does a lot of measurements on the kids and he teaches them, you know, about healthy eating, yeah. eat, about uh, weight control, mm -hmm. those types of things. Yeah. And then because there was a need right after the summer programs end in the s uh, for the for the year, mm -hmm. there's a, a week there before school starts that people are going, what are we going to do? So and then we don't take a lot of kids. But if it can help 30, 40, 50 parents, uh, we have an end of summer camp. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's August 10th through the 14th. So we start literally uh, from July 13th, and we go for five weeks. Uh, with something going on. With something going on. That's great. And if they have any information, uh, they just give you guys a call? Yeah, that would be at 955-2509. Uh, that's at Fort Marcy. All right, great. Yeah. That's awesome, Liz. Yeah, so we've got some great camps coming up. Good. Well, great. A lot of good things going on at Fort Thank Marcy. You. Thank you for coming in and taking the time. Of course, uh, come anything by for you, Joe. I know you guys are busy. And man, I so like this, and I love seeing you there. Oh, Keep thanks. it up. I appreciate it. Thank Keep you, it up. Liz. I got to get there myself. Great. Thank okay. you. All right. We'll be back.